Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined What is going on everybody, so here I am back, I haven't been playing, I haven't been paying much time to the games but I was doing some research online. I'm going to be showing you guys the three biggest apps that you can play on your phone, on your mobile device, and it's going to be console games on this. So I'm going to start off with doing xCloud, which I have already um, showed you guys a lot. Um, this is uh, based on a accept reject basis. A lot of people have gotten rejected. I have got 16 people to apply. Only four made it in. So it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, what I'm gonna show you here, guys, is uh, a lot of the games that you guys can actually play on XCloud services on your mobile device. All these games are multiplayer. You can play multiplayer games on this app. The only problem is you can't pay for this app. There's no way to get into this app unless you get accepted into the XCloud program. I'm gonna um, connect my controller. You guys don't need to use the um, Xbox controller like I thought. I've been using my iPega, which is so much better than the Xbox controller. Um, this controller is made specifically for um, mobile gaming. And I'm gonna be launching um, Sea of Thieves multiplayer. I'm gonna be playing with somebody else so you guys can all see that there's a multiplayer to it. So, in my opinion, this is gonna be the best app to play. It has the less lag, the, less, um, the best graphics, and the multiplayer is gonna be the less uh, glitchy out of the three apps I'm probably gonna do a video starting soon on um, on the three apps what I'm gonna show you guys on this video is uh, how the, um, the apps run and how you can play multiplayer there's there's one of the apps that's really really tricky to play multiplayer on um, you can be done but you need another app to do so so that's pretty much what I'm gonna go into until um, I've finished my computer I'm still waiting on pieces I haven't picked my case, so I want to I wanna make sure that when my PC is built, it's going to be the best out of everything. So what you're going to see is here is going to be Sea of Thieves running on my mobile device. As you can see, the graphics are amazing. Uh, if you have a good phone, the latest phone with a lot of uh, RAM and a good processor, blah, 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 a good processor, um, you should be able to run all this game on high definition, probably 30 to 60 FPS. Um, here I'm probably pushing 45, 50, which is um, I have a FPS runner. I don't have it activated at the moment, but last time I was playing Sea of Thieves, I was running it uh, 1080p, uh, 50 FPS, and man, that was amazing. The games are great when they run on X Cloud, so there's nothing else I can ask for. What I want you guys to know is that X Cloud, you are gonna have to pay. A monthly membership when it comes out it does come out in December you do have to pay a monthly membership I think of ten dollars but out of the three apps I definitely think this can be the most worth app getting into um, it runs the smoothest and the multiplayer is on point you don't have to download anything for the multiplayer to work like the other app but in my opinion I will stick with this one when it comes out, but it just goes to preference because I don't think this is launching for the iOS, which is the iPhone. Your iPhone people are going to have to sit and wait like everything probably a year or so for them to work. But the other app I'm going to get with is going to be uh, Stadia. Sorry for mispronounced that. I do have an accent, guys, so I do apologize about that. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. So I'm just going to go with what I just said. I'm not going to repeat it again for you guys to make fun of me. But I wanted to show you guys what this is about. I was playing the zombie game multiplayer. The multiplayer is amazing here. The only difference between this app and xCloud is that this is not a monthly membership based app. With this app, you actually have to pay for the games to be able to play. You can't play multiplayer. You can have a monthly membership, which I don't think is worth it whatsoever. The monthly membership for this app only gives you certain games you're probably gonna have like 10 games and it's like five dollars a month so i mean 10 games for five dollars a month is pretty good you won't be able to play the latest game it's just whatever game they choose and let's just say they don't have the best choice for for this for the picking um they have kind of old games and they do have this game which is kind of the latest it came out probably 
end of last year. Um, it's a pretty good game. The graphics seems amazing. It runs amazing. So I can't really complain about how it runs. I've been also playing multiplayer on this one, this app. You don't have to download any external apps to get the multiplayer going. I did mute the noise in the background for this one, guys. So um, just bear with me on that, um, the noise. For some reason, I couldn't lower the volume of this game. So what I did is I just muted the noise so I could actually speak because the game was outrageously loud. What I'm trying to do is to show you guys that you don't have to play all these games that are kind of trash. I used to be a last day rules player. I'm no longer last day rules player. And there's a lot of people that are stuck with that game that have quit from my subscribers. And this is what I want to show you guys. I can show you guys that you can, act, if you have a decent phone, you can actually play um, console games in your mobile device. Just to make sure you have a good controller. I would definitely recommend the iPega controller. I'm gonna put it, probably put a picture somewhere right now and put the link down below of the controller that I have. What the controller does is it grips to both sides of my phone and you don't have to hold the phone. It's kind of like, think about it as a Nintendo Switch, I guess, which I kind of had the little two pads on the side. So that's pretty much what happens with the iPega controller. Just to let you guys know, everything that I'm saying and talking about is going to be Android based. So because I do have an Android, it's going to be um, Samsung based. So for you iPhone people, there's I can't really help you on your iPhone. Um, I don't know if this apps work on the iPhone. Uh, I know xCloud doesn't work on the iPhone. I know um, Cloud, which is the third app that I'm going to show you guys, is not working on the iPhone. I don't know if this app works on the iPhone, but I'm just going to go with it. Probably not because nothing works on the iPhone. Um, they're probably going to get it in a year or two and just talk about how good iPhone is because they got the apps that we already had for a couple years. So with that being said, guys, um, I am going to start playing probably on my phone. I haven't been playing a lot. So what I want to show you guys here is the gaming, the process of this gaming um, mobile console type. All this is non-download basis. So what that is is you are playing off a streaming service. So if you have bad internet, please do not waste your time getting all these programs or paying monthly membership because if you do have a bad internet, you're not gonna be able to play. Um, I have 250 megabytes download and probably like 30 upload. And when these services do not wanna work, they do not wanna work. Um, I do have problems from time to time playing this or uh, on the services and there's nothing else I could do uh, if you have worse internet than me as a Wi-Fi then I suggest you don't even waste your time buying games or anything like that because it's not gonna work properly so that's pretty much I wanted to give you guys a warning on that perspective the graphic are smooth just know that you're not running this game on your phone like it runs so smooth because uh, you're just streaming from uh, whatever services they have, wherever they're streaming the server. So you're going to be based on your internet. So data is not the best. So going off the data, it's not gonna. You're not gonna have the best. It's gonna start lagging, and the graphics are gonna go down because for some reason they have kind of registers the graphic based on your internet speed. I don't know how to do that, but. It's cool, I like it. So with that guys, this is pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I have been taking a game, uh, I have been taking a break from gaming and I'm probably gonna start soon again. I've been trying to get a community going to this abs. So far, no luck. I have just probably like two or three people I play with, uh, which is not that much. And we try to get some playing time together since I started. But I haven't got much luck to sit down and actually play a lot. So we're going to see what's going to happen. I'm going to start probably a new Discord, start a Facebook page, try to get people to move on to this type of game, play multiplayer. Um, I know that my fan base, or whatever we want to call it, is based on last day rules. And I also know that a lot of them have quit. So hopefully you guys can come along and tag along with me and join me. 
on this new process also i'm gonna be moving to computer soon guys so we're gonna get at that i know i've been saying that for like about two three weeks but i have not gotten all my computer pieces together and i still have a uh, my case to buy and I still got to wait for my um, graphics card which new eggs is killing me but besides from that guys everything should be fine once my PC is um, running I'm gonna probably try to start live streaming a little bit more than recording but I'm still gonna put up videos recording um, I'm not gonna fully move away from the phone uh, I know there's a lot of um, mobile gaming out there so I'm gonna try to hit that as my big mark move to mobile gaming slash pc which is what i'm gonna do i'm also thinking about getting the new xbox it looks amazing the new xbox i love it so i'm also gonna get that when it comes out but that's a whole different ball game so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move on to the third app just to get this video over and done with we're gonna talk about the third app i'm not gonna play any games on the third app because i already showed you guys what the games look like how they run so I don't feel like I need to show you guys anything about the game. I'm probably going to put down down the description which app and how to get it down below. So actually, I'm not even going to say anything. All these apps can be get from the Google Store. You just go to the Google Store, you type the name, the app's going to come out. So this is another one. This is the worst one. They do not charge you for this one per game. This is a monthly basis, subscription-based uh, gameplay console games but it lags a lot so hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys around so bye